my channel. Um, I wanted to film this video in a more like comfortable setting. I didn't want to do it in like, you know, an actual filming setting, but it actually looks nice, so I'm gonna just stick to this. Before I get into this long awaited story time, I swear I better not hear nothing after because I don't even want to give people no attention. I don't, but y'all been asking for it and I've been talking about it <coughs> lately, so. I'm gonna get right into it. So before I get into any of the tea in today's video, I have to shout out my sponsor for this video. If you don't wanna watch this part, you wanna jump straight to the story time. I'm gonna put this timestamp right here so y'all can just jump straight into the story time. But other than that, if you are interested, this is a 24 inch uh, frontal wig from the Eula Hair. And it's 150 density. Don't get me wrong, um, I gave my thoughts and like my reviews and everything in the initial like tutorial video. So if you really want like all the tea and all the details and you know, I went in on how I colored it. I'll show you guys how I got this nice silver color. I've been trying to get a perfect silver color for so long. So I was happy that I was able to achieve this as well as the perfect blue color. You know how sometimes like you try to do a good blue, but it's either too close to your skin tone or it's too black and it's just so ugh, like right there. And then sometimes it has like it has no ombre, like it's just straight, like I don't know. I seen a lot of a lot a lot a lot of silver hair tutorials and I just wasn't feeling it so when I tested it myself and I don't know what actually I'm lying I did see a tutorial that influenced this but I kind of added like my own little you know whatever so I'm pretty happy that it came out this way so other than that this is what the hair looks like I did mention in my other video that I just wish the density of this hair was way higher like way 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 higher on this, on their website, according to their website, this is 150 density, but to me it's more so like 100. So if you want this wig, or you know what, actually sometimes people really like the supernatural looking wigs and stuff. Some people don't like body and just super thickness, so if you're the type of person who likes more so natural looking wigs but still want to spice it up, I would like recommend this to be for you. But for me personally, I like big thick long hair y'all know how i am y'all my views on my channel y'all know how i get down about these wigs so other than that that was probably like the only issue i did get a little bit of shedding as well but it wasn't so bad to the point where it was unbearable it's you have to understand 613 here is going to shed regardless and on top of that is the aliexpress brand so y'all already know what that means so as far as that that was probably the only issue i have with it i just don't like how thin it is but it did help me achieve a really nice look so that's what i'm like super satisfied with overall and if y'all want a closer look in case y'all don't want to look at the tutorial which you should i don't be lazy if y'all really want to know go watch my tutorial like i don't want to give y'all all the details and all of everything right now and y'all don't want to watch my tutorial so i do a little close-up or whatever and if y'all want a closer look at the color it might be coming off a little bit lighter on camera, but it's definitely a, like a good silver. But yeah, if y'all want the details, once again, go check out my tutorial. I'll link it below. Other than that, I'm ready to get into this story because this is long awaited, and I don't want to talk about it no more. Y'all been asking me every time I go live. Y'all asking me everything. I'm sick of it. So here we go. First of all, but this happened last year in the summertime, around August, like early August, and um. It was just so much that happened within a session that it was just like, what the, like, how do you even take all of this in? Like, you don't even know how to, like, go about it. Like, it was just an awkward situation. So, let me just start off by saying, after the fact that it, after it happened initially, when me and my friend was talking about it, my friend Edgy that had came with me, we was like, nah, we gonna make a story time about this. But we gotta write this down because it's just too much nonsense. So I found a note on my phone the other day when I was talking to Nadja. I was like, yo, Nadja still got it, bro. She said, bro, me too. Like we talking about it, we wrote it down. So it's a whole list of things right here. Let me also make a disclosure too. Everything I say in this video is 100% fact. I don't never, first of all, see y'all, it's just too much going on, but hear me out, right? the type to bash nobody i'm not the type to bash anybody's company i'm not the type to do any of that stuff but the way that this business owner pushed me to it it's getting done and i don't care how nobody fail i don't care who sent threats like they've been doing like i don't care about none of that so i was honestly hesitant to post this video but i'm just like bro 
he's wild. Like, we about to go. But anyways, I'm talking a lot. I know y'all just want to hear the story, but I was about to move to Miami, and this is my, was this my first time? No, I'm lying. I did not just move to Miami. I was coming back to Miami from school, I mean, from um, summer break. And I wanted some ink. Like, I wanted some nice tattoos. I didn't have, I didn't get a tattoo since the one I got behind my ear, which was like, 2017 or something like that so i was doing my research looking up some good tattoo artists or whatever so i believe my best friend had sent me a picture of his work i'm like nah like he's fire like i would love to get a tattoo done by him i'm looking at his profile i'm like nah he does some really good work and that's one thing I, i'm not a hater and i don't i will give credit when it's due he's a very good tattoo artist but the customer service and his attitude is disgusting we're gonna get into it like i said before so yeah, I'm looking at his stuff, I'm like, nah, he's lit. So I'm sending it to all my friends, like, nah, look at his work, y'all should go to him, like, he does some really good work, you know, whatever the case may be. I conversed with him um, a few times before that. Don't get me wrong, he was coming off as a, a bit flirty at first. He definitely was like, oh, let me come to Miami, let's link up, let's go on a date, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, you know, I just wasn't trying to pay too much attention to it to, because I'm not going to say I'm not used to people like business owners that are men like i'm not gonna say i'm not used to them like flirting on me or trying to come on to me a little bit because i definitely am but at the end of the day i know how to compose myself and i'm never gonna go into one of these situations alone so i don't really be worried about that just be like i'm right here and kiki whatever and there we go so now it comes time for me to get the tattoo so me and my friend neji i drove over there whatever we get to his crib we was talking to him on the front porch a little bit or whatever for about 10 15 minutes, he's outside chopping in with him and all that extra stuff, and we went upstairs. Now, some people would get a red flag at the fact that it wasn't in a shop. I thought it was going to be in a shop, but it wasn't. But you just never know the circumstances of certain situations. He could have been like in the process of moving, you just never know. And I'm not the type to really judge nobody, like, uh -uh, I'm not doing that, you know, whatever. It was a nice house, so I'm just like, you know what, whatever, like, it's fine. We get inside. I'm like, okay, clearly nobody lives here because it looks like it's being renovated right now. Like, it's stuff all over the place. Like, it looks like they about to just, you know, whatever. So we go upstairs and he has a room that he's working in. The room was a little bit small, but I just feel like, what do you really expect? Like, I'm not, once again, I'm not that type of person. So I'm just like, all right, you guys, nice setup in here. It's nice for the TV. It look good in here. Like, all right, cool. Like, you guys all look stuff. That's cool, whatever. Once again, I do feel 100% safe because I'm not by myself. I am with my friend Edgy. And I would also recommend that if you want to get any kind of tattoo piercing, anything where you got to remove your clothes and it's a man doing the work, not saying that they won't try something or nothing like that, but you could I'd rather be safe than sorry, is what I'm saying. So I felt that my friend Edgy did. So he woke us upstairs, we get to the room. It's a nice, slow room or whatever. He's got the TV, everything nice. I'm like, oh, he did his thing with this room. All right, because the rest of the house don't look with this room what i was expecting like i don't know but you did your thing in here all right cool so now we in here now i gotta get to the list because the way things happen so fast y'all i don't even remember the exact order and i just gotta refer to the list so hold on so the first thing that first of all do not like i cannot oh my god y'all red flags is so important please pay attention to all the red flags okay like please 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 Pay attention to all the red flags. I'm hype, I'm about to get this tattoo, whatever. So he walked in behind us and he like swatted his hand like he was about to slap my butt. And I'm just like, whoa, like I jumped a little bit. I'm like, whoa, like he didn't actually slap my ass, but I saw the motion. Like, you feel me? I'm not stupid. I'm just like, what's he doing? Like, I understand we was texting and stuff and you was doing your little. I guess a, it was like mild flirting. I wasn't, I was trying not to like pay attention to it. That was very stupid of me, but I was trying not to pay attention to it. So I'm like, oh, he's getting a little bit too comfortable. Like I know we've been texting about these tattoos and stuff, but you're, I don't know you like that. Don't, you know, but I ain't come off like that. Like I just like, yo, wow. And like, you know, and I moved on, whatever. So now it's time to do my spine, which was the first tattoo that we was gonna do. And he, I explained to him so many times, I sent him a picture of my friend's spine tattoo that I really like with, as a reference. Like, this is the idea of what I want done. So we fully discussed this already. There was no confusion. I don't understand where he just went wrong, but there was no confusion. I told you what I wanted right then and there. So what's, what, what? He gets the mark or whatever, and he's like, all right, boom. So I had to take off my shirt a little bit. I don't 
it was like my shirt was off, but it was still kind of around my neck, and I kind of like put it over my boob, so my whole back was exposed, right? So he gets the marker, he starts doodling on my back. Boom, he starts drawing, doing the thing. Now, I'm not thinking that it's gonna be what he was doing, but I'm just like, look, he's the tattoo artist, let him do what he's doing. So I'm sitting there, he's drawing on my back for like 10 minutes. So I'm sitting there, boom, he like, all right, see how you like it. So next he was like, um, I mean, like, and I know my friend, I know Neji, I know Neji. I'm just like, what did he just do? So Neji's like, I'm gonna just take a picture and show you. So she shows me the picture. I'm gonna, let me, let me, I'm gonna insert all the pictures to back up everything, okay? So this is how, um, this is the picture of the tattoo he drew on my back. What is that? Now, don't get me wrong, I don't criticize people all right, but when I tell you myself the specific, that's what I want. Don't start getting creative on your own time when I'm paying my money for you to do this. I don't get creative on somebody else, don't do that on me. But I didn't come off like that. I'm just like, nah, like I wanted a smaller, I wanted a different font, like this is not something I really wanted. He's like, fine, I mean, just be like all these other basic beads. Be like these other basic beads. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm like, hold on. Who the f you think you talking to? Me and Nancy looked at each other like, he must have been talking to you because he wasn't talking to me. He was ranting for like 10 minutes of how basic and boring I was to get a boring spot tattoo like that. Going off. Now, don't get me wrong. If he want to add his little one-two advice or whatever would look best or creative, whatever the case may be, he's obligated to do that. But you're not going to sit here and try to make it something totally opposite of what I asked you for just because... I just felt like he was just super comfortable and he just thought I was gonna be like, oh yeah, you one of the best tap in Brooklyn, you can do whatever you want. No, I'm paying my money for something specific, give me what I want. You feel me? Me and Nancy was taken back by that because we like, what's your problem? Like, what is the problem? Like, why did he just go off like that? But me and Nancy, like, maybe he just having a bad day or something. You know, we just trying to ignore it. He was, you could just tell, like, his energy was just off. So it was just like a dead silence. Like, it was an awkward silence. Like, me and Nancy was saying that we just like, you know how you and your friend just lock eyes? Like, who was that? Like, so he was like, all right, he apologized. Like, you know, my bad. I didn't mean to go off on y'all like that. It's just boom, 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 whatever he was saying. And I'm like, yeah, I understand that, but I showed you what I wanted. Like, I sent you a picture and everything. Like, you know, whatever. So we decided we're going to do the um, butterfly tattoo. Now, this is, I had got two tattoos in one session. So we decided to do this one first. And this is what the tattoo looked like. And freaking, I'm looking all over the place. I'm trying to remember everything. I'm looking at this list, but it's still mad in between. It's like, I'm really trying to piece everything together. It's really so much. I cannot believe all of this. So he decides instead of freehanding it, he want to draw the butterfly tattoo. So I show him the placement at where I wanted my butterfly tattoos to fall. Like, I wanted it to complement the curve of my boob, but I don't want it on my boob. So at first, he was like, oh, it'll look fire if it was like this. And he, like, kind of put the tattoo on my boob like the stencil but i'm like mm, you know i'm still being very calm very collective i'm like mm, i don't really know like i don't know if i want to draw like directly on my boob you never know like what it was you know whatever and then you was saying the same thing i was like that you what you think she's like yeah i don't know if it should be directly on the boob but maybe it could be like around it you know she basically saying the same thing i was saying Neji said, I really don't remember, but I know one of us was like, yeah, you don't know if it could cause breast cancer. I think it was Neji who said it. I'm not sure. I should have got Neji on his hair phone. You know what? Let me call Neji. We going, we going, we going to go on Neji. Alright, so first of all, I'm starting to forget little things. Yeah, I got this list right here, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just call Neji because she going to sit here and she's going to help me figure this out. So, I got Neji on the phone right now, so I'm going to screen record it and then we're going to tell the story together. Alright, Neji's on the phone. Say hey to the Yeah, where I left off was I was telling them about the whole um, butterfly thing on the boob and how me and you was basically saying like, oh, what the fuck are we saying? We saying? Oh, we don't want it to cause like breast cancer. Like you just never know how it happens. You really just never know. We females like we don't really know. We don't know your needles is dirty. Not trying to play him in that moment, but we just like we you just never know. Like you just don't know. So he like. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Not only was he not understanding that, it's like even if you didn't agree with what we were saying, you didn't have to go off the way you did. So basically he was like, 
Oh, why the F with it cause breast cancer? Y'all young kids, y'all so dumb nowadays. Like, I'm so dumb. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, That's what I was, yo, I forgot he said that. Like, yeah, y'all can take me McDonald's. Y'all, blah, blah, blah. Mad dumb, mad dumb, blah, blah. Rent. I was like, 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 I
like she, her body was barely there. Like it was more so the camera that was close yeah. to the body. Like you feel me? So all of you are stretching your arm. You was the arm was stretched. The arm was stretched. Boom, right? The arm was stretched. So he's like, he just like a little bit. Was like, I don't even think we started yet, but I know the um the tattoo. The needle was like buzzing a little bit. I think he was giving ink. I don't remember what he was doing. He just stopped. He just stopped. I don't like when people behind me. Don't stand behind me. I don't like that. But calm down, bro. Calm down. Like I really want to. She's in a position where she can't properly record. We're not thinking that it's awful because you told us it was okay. So obviously we're not gonna think it's awkward for you. So he's sitting here going off on Neji, and I'm just sitting here like, all right, like, but we still was not saying nothing. Like, oh my god, this energy that we got right now was not the energy we had in here. And I just felt like I was quiet because I didn't know if maybe I was wrong. And at the end of the day, he has the needle in his hand, and you just never know, bro. Like you just those tattoos that bad. First of all, it's never that serious. If you in an uncomfortable situation, you need to go. It's never that serious. And I paid my deposit already. No way. I think I paid my full amount at that point. I really think I did. I'm not sure. But I already like placed some money down. So I was just sitting here like, let me just hurry up and get this over with. Yeah. Literally. So after that situation, me and Edgy was so annoyed, bro. Like we was just sitting like what is the problem like we it was just so awkward and we knew we was just getting started that was the bad part we was literally just getting but no, started but number two like after when i was supporting you was on the phone with the love right that was after he finished the tattoo that right after, i think that was, was it? i think that the, was a little bit what do you think no i think it was after the no, butterfly tattoo because you got the butterflies first right yeah during the butterfly situation like when you when he actually went out on your Spin? butterfly yeah. yeah he was you know drawing the marker and then like he had to stop real big and he, and he left the room let me tell him so I, when he, he stopped after he drew nah he didn't do it it was after he pasted the stencil yeah, yeah, on me and he traced it, he he traced traced it, it and good. everything he stepped out the room again for like the third fourth time already for that long and I called Philip. I'm like yeah Philip, cause this we like a trio so we all
everybody like how literally my whole boobs is out. But he had made me these like a paper towel, like pasty things, so my nipples is not out, which I appreciate a little bit, but whatever. And my whole, if you see, I already, um, I'm gonna enter a picture of, um, whatchamacallit, of how, how much of my back was exposed. Once again, I had show job that, um, like my whole back was out, my boobs was out, but my shirt was around my neck, so it was covering my boobs a little bit. Cause I didn't want to just take it off. I'm not about to do that, right? Like, no, I'm not doing that. So he puts the, um, he printed out the um, format I wanted, the um, the left and everything. So the spine tattoo goes all the way from the top of my neck to like a little bit under my dimples. Keyword: a little bit under my dimples. Say it again with me, y'all. A little bit under my dimples. Like I'm getting tight right now. Why? take the napkin and like put it on your um the waist of your pants so it don't like mess up your clothes like they ain't gonna leak or something i had on spandex shorts let me tell you something first of all i'm already exposed literally almost completely at the top he takes the napkin and pushes it on my waist like the waist of my pants and my, he pulled it down so far my half of my butt was on the seat bro on the tattoo chair half of my butt because y'all think this is a game. Let me show you. Like, alright, so say this the tattoo chair and I'm sitting like this, right? He pulled it all the way. <laughs> he pulled it like right here. He pulled it literally like right here. So when he pulled it all the way down there, I was pissed. Like, I was, that, at that point, we both was like, you're not serious right now. He was like, nah, 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 just put it right. I said, I don't want it all the way down there. I was like, I'll do it. Like, I got it. I'll do it. So he was like, no. Um, he was like, nah, just put it down here. I'm like, no, I got it. Like, I'll do it. So I pulled it to where I wanted it to be. There's no reason why my whole pooch is basically on this chair right now. Why am I nearly naked with you? My spine tattoo is not going down my crack. Like, it's not going that far down. Why are you pulling it all the way down there? So that really, that really pissed me off. And I was like, you know what? Bro, no funny. I don't know how long this tattoo is going to take, but do it. And let, let's go. Like, I'm over it. Yo, that that showed me. I was this or he was. And I just feel like this is what I was saying. And Nettie was really mad. Because Nettie was like, bro, I'm ready to go when you ready to go. Because I'm trying not to say nothing about here because you here, bro. And I know you want this. But I'm not. She was over it. Bro, I'm just like, bro. I was so mad. I'm just sitting here like, I'm already mostly naked. Why are you trying to pull it all the way further down like that? Like, I feel like you're taking advantage of the situation. I already baby got close on. Like, what's wrong with you? So, he does that or whatever. So, he's trying to um, stick the stencil on my back or whatever. And trace it, whatever he did to so put the um, the um, fine all out on my back or whatever. And um, I, I guess I was, like, lifting my head or something like that. Trying to talk to Nedge or trying to get comfortable. I honestly don't remember what I was doing. But he gonna push my head back in a hole. He pushed her head in the Like literally around my neck and then everything from here down is exposed. Well, up into my pants, obviously, but everything from here down is exposed. So I'm laying on the chair and we are talking to Nedge and I just like just looking. I said Nedge. She said what? I said Nedge. Oh my I said Nedge, don't make it hot. She said what? I said bro. <laughs> I said, is that a camera up there, bro? She said, you lying. I said, bro, we literally was moving like this. No, because she didn't even know that. Bro, bro, wait, wait, wait. Bro, I said, Neji. Mind you, I told y'all, Neji was sitting behind the chair closest to 
to the window, which is basically right at the corner, so the camera was right above her head. So I'm just like, Neji, look up. She said, no. I was like, Neji. I said, I was laughing at my It was not funny. Nah, it was like, I don't even want to say, like, in that moment, it wasn't funny, but we was like, nah. Situation, so please just learn from my experience. But yeah, that was earlier before he even did the spine tattoo. I just forgot about that, so I had to add him. Anyways, so boom, after the spine tattoo, he does the spine tattoo. Whatever. Now, which crop am I up to? Boom, boom, boom. boom. So he finished my spine tattoo, and he's sitting here, and he's taking a picture of it. You know, whatever. I'm like, alright, let me let him get his pictures. All of that. He stepped back. Mind you, my head is down, so I don't know exactly what he did at this moment. I just heard it. All I heard him say, yeah, them back shots going to be crazy. Excuse me? Are you dumb? Mind you, my kids is already like a little below my dimples, my whole I'm just feeling mad uncomfortable. So I'm like, I didn't even say nothing. Me and Ned, just, we just did not say nothing, bro. We just looked at each other like... Alright, it's time to go. Like, it's, it's time to go. So I'm like, alright, you know, whatever. So now it's time to go. And I'm putting my stuff back on. I'm putting my bra back on, all that stuff. And then, before I put my bra back on, this man slaps my titty. He went, boop, just like that, to this boo. Slap my boo. I said, let's go. I was done. I was like, bro, I feel like I really just let somebody take advantage of me. And due to my bag, like, Due to the fact that I want a tattoo so bad, I'm just gonna let somebody do that. Like, you just you never do that. A tattoo, a service, a free something, nothing is worth somebody like really being perverted to you. Well, actually, walk, pause, pause. Right after that situation happened, 
something I had posted on um, social media. I was like, um, I'm going to enter it right here, but I basically said something along the lines of, I love my tattoos, but I would never go to that tap man again. And I, I, I think I blocked him before I said this. I blocked him before I said this, and he sent it back to me. So I guess the word got around, somebody got back to him because he was posting my tattoo. They knew it was me, so they sent it to him. And me and him was going back and forth about it. He told me about, oh, the camera's a dummy camera. Show me that the battery not in. Why would you have a dummy camera up there and not disclose that it's a fake camera? Why wouldn't you tell somebody that? What if I was getting a piece on my butt or something in my whole oh, ass? Wow. What if I got something on my film in? Like, and you got a camera there? How do you, like, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to disclose everything from, from jump. You feel me? And he did it. So I was real pissed about that. So I'm just saying here, me and I'm going back and forth for whatever the case may be. Now, everybody know I just went to him and everybody know that he just did my tattoo. So everybody on Tommy right now, like, they know who's who got what from where. And I got people writing me like, oh, he told me he want to do all my tattoos because he want to see me naked, which I'm going to answer that too. Yeah, I'm answering all the scenes. Like, he's, well, this is not, you heard about the first thing on me. Like, this is like, definitely not the first. I had a girl write me like, I don't know. I was looking for it, but I don't know if I got it. But she was like, yeah, me and my friend was texting each other the whole time. Like, oh, he's making me mad uncomfortable. I want to leave. Like, mad texting people. He was. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was like, I don't know what to do. All these women. Like, that's mad whack. And you're a grown man. Like, he's like in his 30s or something. 40. Yeah. I think he was in his 30s or something like that. But I'm just saying, like, you're a grown man, like, and you taking advantage of young women. Like, I don't understand why you, like, that's mad whack, you feel me? So, after, I guess, the hype was still around, he like, oh, F out of here, like, you just want to get clout. I want to get clout from who? Not you, I got my own clout. I don't want your black clout, bro. I don't need no attention. This is what I'm saying, and clearly I got my own little crowd and attention. People watching me, that's how I got reported back to you. So, like, I was you like, why do you have so much followers? Yeah. Like, why would I want clout from you? Like, I don't understand. I don't need your people. I don't need nobody you're even brother. I don't care about nothing that comes with you, bro. This is good for me. You feel me? So, after that situation, we had a little argument or whatever. He cursing. Oh, you better watch this. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just like, you know what? Whatever. So, the situation died down. Now, speed up a few months. Because this video getting mad long. So, I got to hurry up. But, speed up a few months, Miami Carnival. Now, remember, I had told y'all he did my friend's head, too. So, he was writing my friend, like, oh, I'm a boom hug, dumb at B, and, like, all this stuff. But he said something like that. And he was just talking mad crazy, where you at? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Then he texts me, I'm lying. I think I unblocked him after. I don't know how he was able to text me at this point. I don't think I blocked him at that point, or I unblocked him. So, I don't but I know he did text me after my friend showed me that, like, oh, I hope you choke on a D out there. I'm like, you know who you're talking to? Like, I will literally ruin your career. Like, are you dumb? Like, don't ever try to take advantage of me, and I try to be cool on you. Exactly, and I'm trying to be cool on you, but you really trying to take advantage, and you really think I'm not going, all right, cool, now watch this. He wanted to talk crazy to me. You were both in this situation months later. I've been stopped talking about it, but you wanted to try something to give you a show. That's it. Was over it, bro. I was just so over it. So, more of the story is because that's literally where the story ended. And more of the story is no tattoo, no service, no hairstyle, no product is worth somebody making you uncomfortable or somebody trying to take advantage of you in any type of way. Like, it's not worth it, especially if you're a woman and you want to get a piercing, a tattoo, a I mean, you better take somebody with you. Not saying they're going to do something to you, but you can't put nothing past nobody. Nobody. You feel me? So once again, I hate that I had to make this video about very happy I did because you wanted to provoke me now you got the clout you was looking for. Okay? Hurry it. Anyways, y'all got the story. I don't want to have to make another video. I'm really done talking about this. I don't know what's going to happen, but if I got to make another video, that's what y'all going to see in part two because I'm not even playing with nobody right now. Anyways, this video was mad.